What if the New York Islanders drafted Red from 1995 to 2005? During Mike Milbury's tenure as New York Islanders GM, he made many mistakes. He made many bad trades, but most importantly, he drafted poorly. In this episode, we are going to go back and fix those mistakes. In 1995, Wade Redden. With the 28th pick, they should have selected Mark Savard over Jan Halabic. The Islanders will still select Zdeno Chara as well, but they will not trade him. In the 1996 draft, they will still select JP Dumont with their first round pick. In the 1997 draft, they are still going to select Roberto Luongo, but they are not trading him away. With the fifth pick, they should have selected Marion Hossa over Eric Brewer. Brian Campbell is selected at pick 31 over Jeff Zier. In the 1998 draft, instead of selecting Nick Antropov ninth overall, they should have selected Alex Tangay. Brad Richards is selected at pick 36 over Chris Nielsen. In the 1999 draft, instead of selecting Tim Connolly 5th overall, they should have selected Henrik Zetterberg. Rodin Verbata is selected at pick 8 over Taylor Paya. In the 2000 NHL draft, instead of selecting Rick DiPietro number 1 overall, they should have selected Marion Gabrick. Scott Hartnell should have been selected with the 5th pick over Ravi Torres. Originally in the 2001 draft, the New York Islanders did not have a 1st round pick because of the Alexi Ashen trade. But since they're not training for Alexi Yashin, they will draft Jason Spezza. In the 2002 draft, instead of selecting Sean Bergenheim 22nd overall, they select Cam Ward. They will still select Franz Nielsen with the 3rd round pick. In the 2003 draft, instead of selecting Robert Nielsen 15th overall, they should have selected Brent Burns. 2004 draft, instead of Pateri Nokalainen 16th overall, they should have selected Mike Green. In the 2005 draft, instead of selecting Ryan O'Mara 15th overall, they should have selected James Neal. At pick 46, they should have selected Cody Franzen over Dustin Kahn. The Islanders still select J.P. Dumont, Roberto Luongo, Franz Nielsen, and Zdeno Chara. There are two trades that the Islanders do not make that save them from being a joke of a franchise. First, they will not be trading for Alexi Yashin, meaning they keep Jason Spezza and Zdeno Chara. Second, they will not be trading away Roberto Luongo and selecting Rick DiPietro first overall in the 2000 NHL Draft. By drafting right and not making bad trades, the Islanders have now built a strong contending team but they now run into salary cap issues. Wade Redden is traded to the Pittsburgh Penguins for Brooks Orpik, Colby Armstrong, and a first round pick in 2007, Max Pacioretty. Mark Savard is traded to the St. Louis Blues for Jay McClement and a second round pick in 2006, Artem Anisimov. Sam Ward is traded to the LA Kings for Dustin Brown and a first round pick in 2006, Jonathan Bernier. Marion Gabrick is traded to the Nashville Predators for Ryan Suter and a first round pick in 2007, David Perron. Rodin Verba and a third round pick, Yannick Weber, are traded to the Carolina Hurricanes for Andrew Ladd. Alex Tange is traded to the Chicago Blackhawks for Renee Bork and Craig Anderson. This is how the lineup looks like at the beginning of the 2005-2006 season. First line is Henrik Zetterberg, Brad Richards, and Marion Hossa. Second line is Scott Hartnell, Jason Spezza, and James Neal. Third line is Andrew Ladd, David Backus, and J.P. Newmont. Fourth line is Renee Bork, Jay McClement, and Colby Armstrong. First defensive pair is Dale Chara and Brian Campbell. Second defensive pair is Ryan Suter and Mike Green. Third defensive pair is Brooks Orpik and Brent Burns. Goaltenders are Roberto Luongo and Craig Anderson. In this system, the Isles have great young players like Max Pacioretty, Jonathan Bernier, Cody Franzen, and Artem Anisimov. This Islanders team would go through some growing pains, but in two to three years, they would be a contending team. Next, what if the Ottawa Senators drafted right from 1992 to 2002? 